Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, and here's a quick video for you. A lot of folks when they come over to MX, they they um, they wonder, you know, how come you're system D free? Well, we're not really system D free. We just kind of got a little bit of everything thrown in there for good measure, and not using system D by default makes the Antics Live system and all the snapshot stuff work a little bit better. So, but if you've got an installed system there's no harm in using system D and a lot of people want to for one reason or another some application doesn't have wants some server application doesn't start up or or they're just used to it and that's fine uh, so how do you do that so I'll show you here my little virtual box I have a installed virtual box set up here and you can see you got the initial entry the initial entry is gonna boot up whatever the default init system is now if you google on the internet how to have different init systems on Debian you're gonna find a lot of really crazy rules about installing certain packages like uh, systemd dash sysv and removing some other things on MX we still use a system, what's called systemd shim so you can have either one so if you go down here to advanced options even though it's not really advanced options it throws it it's, it's, it's where it's at it's a sub menu on the grub screen you hit enter there and you can see there's a systemd option great so what if you want uh, so that's how you do it you, you, you fire it up and uh, uh, up, um, up it comes booting in systemd mode and there we go. So we're we're up and booting. We're up and running. So if we open up a terminal and or uh, open up the menu and hit Quick System Info, or you can use INXI, uh, you'll come down here to Info and you'll see that under Shell and Init, there it is, Init. So we are booted up in System D. Well, what if you want to make that permanent? I don't know why you would want to make that permanent. Maybe you just want to, uh, or maybe you want to use something like Snaps. Now. Uh, snaps, of course, the, the canonical slash Ubuntu uh, sponsored universal packaging format. Debian does support Snaps, but you have to run systemd if you want Snaps. You just have to. There's just that's just the end of the story on it, and that's fine. Uh, uh, you can install Snap from from Synaptic Packet Man Manager, but if you do that and you install Snap applications, you probably want to make your default boot up system D every time. There's a couple of ways to do that. You can you can you can remove the system sysv init um, some of their packages. I'm not gonna go into that one though because I prefer another option because I like flexibility. We're gonna open up MX boot options and we're gonna go up here to the top here to the boot to option. Now you can see that we have the sub menu is there and you can boot that and you can make that be your default boot option. Um, it looks a little weird, but I'll go ahead and show it to you. We're going to go ahead and apply. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and reboot, and we'll see what that looks like. And you'll see that the selection menu is actually our default. But it does boot the system D option inside that submenu. Now if that bugs you, not seeing the exact option on that top level screen. That's the default. I can show you how to change it so that you will, real quick. Okay, so we'll go back in the boot options. And you're going to see another option that says use flat menus. We'll use that. And what that's going to do is going to take away those submenus and put all the boot options on one level. Some people like that anyway. So I'm going to apply that. Do that. You'll notice that uh, actually I think I accidentally changed what option was my default. I want the system D option. But you see it now shows up that that submenu is not there. The advanced submenu is not there. So we can hit that and apply. And we're going to update the grub boot menu. So that's where it boots first. And now when we reboot, you're going to see the, the selection, the exact selection you wanted out of the gate. And there it is. Now I'm going to hit this button here so that it, so that it um, doesn't time out on me. But you see that the, the system D option is selected by default. Now you can do that 
with any menu entry. It doesn't matter. It's not a special thing with System D. You can, if you want, to, if you have Fedora installed and you want to boot Fedora by default with the MX Grub, you can do that. Uh, you just gotta select select the option out of the boot, uh, MX Boot Options menu. So there you go. Now System D is the default on this particular virtual machine. And if I want to run Snaps, I can do that. For tips, tricks, and how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or antixlinux.com. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.